In this class, I'm going to explain about Java primitive types. So in Java, there are several primitive types uh, called boolean, char, byte, short, int, long, float, and double. And if you notice, all of all these primitive types are all lowercase. Boolean takes true and uh, has two values, true and false. And char is is used for representing language characters, like all the English characters or the la or the characters of any language. So you, you we use Unicode characters for that. And byte, short, int, and long, they represent signed integers. And float and double represent the IEEE 754 floating point format. And you can see the size here and the default values. So boolean is one bit, so it can store two values. Char is 16 bits. And byte, short, int, and long, float, they all take different amounts of bits. And the range of values, you can see the range of values. They the range from negative values to positive values and for float and double the here you see e to the power of minus 45 that means 10 to the power of minus 45 and here you see e to the power of plus 38 which is 10 to the power of plus 38 and similarly for double you see 10 to the power of minus 324 and 10 to the power of 308 so double has much greater precision than float and it can also store numbers with higher magnitude. So all the primitive types start with lowercase uh, so don't get confused with uh, the the wrapper classes so every primitive type has a corresponding wrapper class which uh, wraps the primitive value so the primitive int the corresponding wrapper type for is integer for float it is uppercase float and so on the important rules to remember when it comes to casting is whenever there is a loss of magnitude when you assign uh, a value to another variable then an explicit cast is required. If there is just a loss of precision then there is no cast required. It is implicit so it will be handled by the JVM. So let's go to the upcasting first. So a value of data type with lesser magnitude can be assigned to a variable of a data type with a higher magnitude. So short, the magnitude for short is much less than int. So a short can be assigned to an int and the casting is implicit. Implicit means the JRE will do that for you. As a programmer, you don't have to do anything. So some of the casting rules are you can convert from a byte to a short to an int and a char to an int. Then from an int you can convert to a long or a float or a double. And a boolean cannot be assigned or interchanged with any of the number types. And downcasting is when a value of data type with a higher magnitude it cannot be assigned to a variable of data type with lower magnitude without an explicit cast. And a downcasting can result in potential data loss. So for example here we have a short which is 256 and we are assigning it to a byte and byte can take only up to 128 so 256 is too big for it so there could be a potential loss there, there is a loss of data here and downcasting has to be explicit otherwise there is a compilation error so the programmer has, has to explicitly cast and the way you do that is you take the, uh, the variable or value and put it in and assign it to to a data type which is the same as the data type on the left side so you are assigning it to a byte and you need to put that inside this opening parenthesis and closing parenthesis so this is how you do a downcast let me show you an example program so in this program first I'm assigning uh, the number 1 to a float f then I'm taking a 1.3 and I'm assigning to an int. Okay, this 1.3 is a double, which is which has a much higher magnitude than an int. 
so an explicit cast will be required similarly when you're con converting the 1.3 double to a float again an explicit cast is required because doubles can have much higher magnitude than floats if 1.3 can be assigned to a double d because 1.3 is a double so there is no issue there here i'm assigning an uh, a long to a float though long has 64 bits and float has only 32 bits the range of numbers represented by float is much higher than that of long so the magnitude of a float floating point numbers is much higher than that of of a long number so since there is no loss of magnitude though there could be a potential loss of precision a long can be assigned to a float however a float cannot be assigned to a long because a float is can represent much bigger numbers so an explicit cast will be required so let me run this program say run as java application and I can print all these numbers here the first one is I'm assigning a, a double to an int so 1.3 becomes 1 this 1.3 double is assigned to a float since there are it doesn't have too many digits on the after the decimal point the float can handle that so it remains a float and finally I'm printing another double here which comes as it is so in this video we saw what Java primitive types are and how you do upcasting and downcasting